Today I'm going to do a motor speed adjustment on a Sanyo M4500 stereo cassette recorder. I really had noticed that this unit was actually running a little bit too fast. But a lot of times what I do is I work on these units, I hook up my test set anyways and see if it's running too fast or too slow. Normally they run too slow because of things like loose belts or basically worn out belts in the overwhelming number of cases. I have my 3000 hertz test tape in the mechanism. I've got the I've got it in the of course in the play position. Also the the volume control of the box, I had to turn it up enough to, as to where I can get a reading. Of course, if I have it turned all the way down, my frequency counter is not going to register anything. And over at the right here, I am taking a reading off of the headphone jack. I went ahead and made, made my own little um, cable set up here. And this is how the other end of my test cable looks. First I have the black lead from my frequency counter going to the here ground shield and I've got my left and right channel here and I've hooked up the other side of my frequency counter test leads to one of these wires One's, of course, the left channel, one's the right channel. I don't exactly know which one's which there. And the last thing I'm going to do is hook up this resistor. I think it's an 8 ohm resistor. That's going to be hooked up here. One's going to go to the, one lead's going to go to the, on the ground side, and the other lead is going to be hooked up in parallel with one of these one of these channels left or right the adjustment for this motor is actually right here this is the only way I can set this up here because this, con this, this cassette recorder is real convoluted to work on so all I'm going to do is go ahead and make my adjustment here and bring it bring it down to 3000 like I said this is a 3000 Hertz tape so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down and normally you have the like the opposite problem like I said it's often caused by having loose belts but somebody's been in this box before I can tell they did soldering and stuff and um, it's been kind of a mess Okay, I'm very close. As you can see here, I think I initially went the wrong way. I'm right over 3000 hertz, and I think I should be like within, uh, as far as I remember, I think it was two, somewhere around two or three percent, as far as I remember, off the top of my head, somewhere around there. So, in conclusion, I can say that. Normally, slow speed is caused by, I would say, loose and worn out belts. Of course, you could also have, like, somebody could have put the wrong belt in there, which it would still be, it would then be loose. Also, you can also have something, some kind of pulley in the mechanism. That could be, for example slowing everything down and of course it could also it could be your motor could be bad your if you your pressure roller if that's binding that for example could be bad but again like I said in most instances as far as I've seen so far and as far as these boom boxes are concerned it's in general I would say it's belt problems 
so I would make sure that I always have new belts in because who knows how long the old ones have been in and they do deteriorate. 